with anything, then somebody has to be at a reputable hospital. And at that point, three days had already elapsed. Three days. Mm -hmm. um, so I told her, instead of being at a hospital that is not done, why can't you then just go for your appointment because three days in a thick, and now you can go yes. and see the doctor that you're scheduled to see. Mm -hmm. And then she told me, okay, but I'm here with a good taxi driver that said they will wait for me and I don't have money to pay. Moi. I went and got money and I sent to her to pay the taxi driver. Moi. I sent money for consultation that she had already consulted with the doctor in that hospital. Okay? And then she told me she had left to go home and she was going to Nairobi West the following day. She went to Nairobi West, apparently. But it was Friday night getting into Saturday because I remember that Saturday I was not working. So in the night, I wake up, I think, to go to the, to the toilet or something. I open my phone, and there is so many missed calls from Ms. Cara. Uh, somebody is saying feeling guilty. Who is feeling guilty? My God. Don't I am not talking to feel guilty. I'm not talking to feel guilty for something. I've, you know, the, the reason why people manipulate others see on TikTok you, you see somebody giving you that pity face that I normally preach against mm -hmm. because they're not used to seeing a cancer thriver or patient like me. Yeah. They're used to those, that, the, the pity party, which I don't tolerate. You understand? Mm -hmm. I am not a pity party person. All right? Mm -hmm. um, focus. Focus on your mother, idiot. Uh, so, I, she calls me and I write back. I say, Miss Cara, I can see a lot of missed calls. What's the problem? Then she says, I am at Nairobi West. Mm -hmm. Listen here. I am at Nairobi West. Mm -hmm. But they are not going to treat me because I don't have the money that they need. Mm -hmm. People know how to manipulate me because I am a giver and I panic. I yeah. panic a lot. Yeah when somebody is in need. Thank you so, so at much. that point, I'm imagining someone is at Nairobi West. Mm -hmm. It is, they've been there for long and the hospital is not treating them and I know what Kenya is, yes. okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. There are people who've even died because they cannot be admitted in. Yes. So at that point, uh, the, Lady Jacqueline, I had just started working here. We had moved from Houston. My account was reading negative. And I'm like, where am I going to get this money from to give this lady? Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking the only thing I can do mm -hmm. is to create a flyer with her picture and her name, okay? And, you know, distribute this flyer for people to, to send her money. Yes. But the only network I know I can get money from is the, the American network. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Because the Kenyan network, me, I don't know people who I can tell, please give money to to yes. this lady. Yes. So mm -hmm. I tell her, mm -hmm. can you wait until America wakes up? Mm -hmm. Then I can share the flyer in the groups that I am in and these women I know will support you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I wait until for around like two to three hours. And then I create the flyer and I ask her, please send me a picture of you. So I put on the flyer and I put the, the picture on the flyer, then I tell her, give me the pay bill number for the hospital. Mm -hmm. Isn't this the platform where people talk of pay bill? It is. Isn't this the platform? It is, yeah. Then I tell, when I tell her that, she tells me, no, you see, from the last experience, do you know that last experience? When moi was raising funds for her. So this, Time, she tells me that from the last experience, the hospital told her that people were sending money from all over, and so some monies were getting lost along the way. Mm -hmm. So it is better for the money to be sent to her than she will get the money and, and, and pay. And at the yeah. In her mind, mm -hmm. she knows that she's not at Nairobi West. So if I put the number for Nairobi West, 
yeah. money is going to go to the wrong place. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for me at that time, I trust. I trust her. Yeah. I take her number and I put on the flyer. Mm -hmm. So when I put her number on the flyer, I post the flyer out to my groups and people start sending money. Mm -hmm. but the first person to send her money is my friend Carol, sent her money. So when Carol sent her money, I asked her later after some, after some hours, because in my heart I know this is a desperate situation. So I asked her, how, how many more people have sent you money? She said, nobody. And I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? So I go into our family group and I tell my siblings, can you please share this flyer in, within your networks? Talk to your friends, I need this lady to be helped. Mm -hmm. And my younger sister, I told Tinya Coletta, pleads with me, tells me, Diana, why can't you open live and do fundraising for this woman? And I said, I am not good with fundraising on TikTok. And my platform is not for fundraising. My platform is for cancer awareness. So if I go again and raise funds for this woman, many people will be writing to me and asking for that same favor. Mm. And I cannot do that all the time because it shifts me. It takes me off of why I come alive. But when my sister pleaded and told me, Dana, if anything happens to this woman and you're able to help, it won't be good. Mm -hmm. Do you know I went to open my life in the morning of Saturday? I did not take care of my family. My husband woke up to take care of the girls. Me, I was live pleading for people to give money to this girl. My network in the US started sending money. Mm -hmm. They started sending money to her. Yeah. So they sent money over 200,000. Some stubborn ones were still sending money to me. And they were sending money to me once I collect a lump sum sent to her. Lump sum sent to her. When it reached a point where I knew that she had received enough for admission, like she said, I told her, Ms. Kara, the moment you are admitted, please, can you send me an updated picture so that I share it with this, my network, so that at least they will be happy that you're already at the hospital. Then she sent me two pictures. She sent me one picture, she's lying in the hospital in a blanket, and then she sent me another picture where they're putting um, like injection for her. So I sent those pictures to my network and people were happy that she's at, in the hospital. So me, I left people to continue to send money to her. And then after a day or two, my elder sister decides to go visit her at the hospital where she's admitted. Yeah. In our minds at that time, we know that it is Nairobi West. Call me, yes, I did all that. Okay. So all the drama that they are causing on that platform, it's because they are, she's, she has that voice. That voice is very, very tricky. That voice, I know it. People who don't know it, mm, yeah. it will make you cry and then say, oh, oh Diana, Candy Diana is bad. Yeah. Yep. I know that voice very well, manipulative. Mm -hmm. And so my sister went to visit her, shopping. Olivia carried shopping, go to Nairobi West, asked where this lady is. They cannot find her in any ward. Mm -hmm. My sister said, no, she's in cancer ward. The hospital refused. That we know this, this lady, we've treated her before. Right now she is here for um, what is called um, outpatient. She only comes here to see doctors, get medicine and leave. Mm -hmm. Then Olivia writes to me a message. And Olivia asks me, Diana, are you sure this lady is at, are you sure this lady is at that hospital? I say, yeah, we, we raised money. She's already admitted. She sent the picture. Olivia said, Diana, this lady is not at Nairobi West. I said, Olivia, no, she's at Nairobi West. Because in my mind, I can't believe somebody can lie about a hospital. Why? What for? Then, Olivia sends me two pictures. The first picture is the picture that was sent to me to show she's admitted. 
But now Olivia sends it as a screenshot from this lady's TikTok. Guess what? This lady was not at Nairobi West. The picture she sent to me was a picture from her old hospital where she was at Nairobi West from last year. That is the picture she sent me. The picture she has where somebody is drawing blood from her, they take an envelope mm -hmm. that is written Nairobi West, they put it standing there, then they take her hand as if they're injecting. But the truth of the matter is, they're taking this picture at the hospital on Tika Road. So they are staging it yeah. and sending to me. So let me ask you something. I am also, by the way, I'm not, I am also medically still referred to as a cancer patient. Yeah. Why should a cancer patient do that to another cancer patient? Thank you. Why should another cancer patient manipulate another cancer patient? Yeah. Because she wants my network. Why yeah. can't you just tell me the truth and tell me, Diana, mm -hmm. I don't want Nairobi West. Mm -hmm. If you can just help me. Mm -hmm. So you just help me from this hospital. Yeah. And I will say, okay, because I don't know that hospital, I will just see what money I have and I will send that to you and, you know, you can do other things. Yeah. So when my sister sent me that, my sister told me, do not send to her this picture mm -hmm. because we need to interrogate further. Yeah. But because at that point I am annoyed, mm -hmm. I waited first a bit, but Olivia sent her a message, Miss Cara, where are you at? Which ward of Nairobi Hostel are you? Mm -hmm. And she continues to say, I am on uh, oncology, you know, whatever she told my sister. Mm -hmm. Then my sister said, are you sure? Yes. Then when my sister told me that, I took the picture that she sent me and I sent to Miss Cara without my sister's permission. Mm -hmm. And I sent to her and I said, Miss Cara, why are you doing this? Why, why did you do this? Do you know what is on my mind at that time? My reputation. Mm -hmm. Anybody working at a Western country Anybody working at a West, and then you see people calling them some idiotic people coming to that life. So they think now today they found a platform yeah. where they can come and address me. Idiots. Yeah. Idiots with small brain like yeah. this. Yeah. When they find themselves in platforms with intellectuals, yeah. their legs behave like this. Right, there you go. Yeah. So I'm thinking it has taken me years to get a job yeah but god handed over to me after cooking after driving uber then this simple thing you know this simple thing if the people in the u.s come and see and say ah but diana mm -hmm. you told us this lady was at nairobi west yeah but she's not at Nairobi West. Mm -hmm. Diana, were you lying? Were you trying to steal money from us? Mm -hmm. Don't you think that is what they would say? Yeah, that's exactly what they would say. And because the flyer was put up on my platforms, my Facebook platform, my TikTok platform, my mm -hmm. Instagram platform, mm -hmm. they are needed to be a clear yeah. apology on those platforms. Absolutely. Because you will not make people think I was lying about Nairobi West for them to think I was stealing money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Somebody could have said, I could have messaged your foundation. Exactly. Yeah. So, when Miss Tara noticed that I knew where she was, mm -hmm. she started calling my sister. Mm -hmm. She started calling my sister frantically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know where my sister was at that time? My sister, my driver, and my employee were on their way to Miss Kara's house. How did we know Miss Kara's house? 
because she was a beneficiary of 50 days of Christmas on my platform. Yeah. That lady, you see, with that voice, she has gotten almost half a million from my platform. Wow. My, wow. Okay. So mm -hmm. they are going to a house to be sure that, is this really true? Is this really true? Mm -hmm. So they go to a house and they find her sister there. Mm -hmm. When they find her sister there, they ask her sister, Oh, Abari, Zuri, uh, and Nani, you mm -hmm. And they say, um, Yeah, I'm very careful. Thanks, guys. I'm very careful. I'm very careful. That's why you guys, you today you understand why when you find me on my platform, you'll yeah. find me talking on my platform alone. Yeah. It is rare for me to bring anybody on my platform. Yeah. Nobody wants to ever. You can literally damage your reputation. Very, very yes. easily. Yes. Yeah. I only bring because doctors to my platform. Yeah. I only bring patients. Yeah. Patients who have gone through. I don't even bring patients who are going through treatment. Mm -hmm. This one was one of the few. Because patients who are going through treatment, they will come on my platform and they will expect fundraising. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So I always bring patients who have finished treatment yeah. because they are the ones who can teach people exactly. they can tell people what their symptoms were mm -hmm. they can tell people which hospitals they um which hospitals they recommend mm -hmm. they can tell people all those things you understand mm -hmm. so when my sister went to their house so miss kara was fighting to get my sister then she stood, my sister picked and said miss kara what do you want Mm -hmm. At your, there's something I want to tell you. So my sister said, what is it that, that cannot wait for me to come to Nairobi West, to come and see you because you've said you're at Nairobi West. Mm -hmm. Then Miss Kara says, Olivia, I'm sorry, I'm not at Nairobi West. Mm -hmm. wow. Then my sister, you, you remember on, on my Lisafi's platform, I told her, why can't you bring my sister up? Did you see intentionally she did not? He did not. He brought all those Madogodianos who are not related to, to this matter. You understand? So, my sister, when Miss Kara now says where she is, you can imagine at that time, I still have money still coming even to my phone for this lady. Mm -hmm. At that time I had, I can't recall the amount, but I can check on my, on my uh, wave, send wave records to see the amount that I sent, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So I still have this money that I'm sending to Miss Kara because people are still sending it to my phone and sending to her phone. Mm -hmm. So you see in that platform, they're not allowing me to talk. Somebody is asking, why are you taking money from a sick person? What? Am I, am I crazy? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? At that mm -hmm. time, the woman has received almost 300,000 already. Mm -hmm. And I still have some that I'm sending to her. Yeah. And because I have realized she's lying, and I was going, I was going to send my own money and mm -hmm. send money for transportation and everything. But yeah. because I realized she's lying, you people are going to, to laugh at this. Do you know that because of the panic, yeah. I ended up sending money erroneously mm -hmm. from my personal account. Mm -hmm. Excess of about $90. Mm -hmm. that was not supposed to be sent yeah. that money needed to be brought back yeah. because it was erroneously sent mm -hmm. and then in addition to the money i sent her yeah. so when they reached there and they found her with her mother my sister was so annoyed yeah. my sister even asked her mother why why do you allow your daughter yeah. to lie to my sister mm -hmm. who is also a cancer patient yeah Mm -hmm. Why? And Miss Kara was just crying there. And I told my sister, you know what, Olivia? I am, I need this lady out of my life. You know, I wish her well with her treatment, mm -hmm. but I don't want anything to do with her. Do you know what my sister told me? Mm -hmm. Diana, you cannot block this lady out. This lady is a cancer patient, mm -hmm. and this lady may also benefit from the information on your platform. Yeah. You cannot block her. Yeah. And I told Olivia, I am blocking her. I don't want TikTok dramas. I am blocking her. My sister refused. 
my mother refused. Mm-hmm. You hear she's saying, we were like sisters, me, I was her sister, how? This re- relative thing that people, why, why should some, you know, this lady is that kind of a person. Have you ever seen these people who, they, in Lua, you say, me and Ore? Yes. Until you feel right? Yes. yes. Like somebody yes. wants to be so close to you until you feel so uneasy. I know. All right? So they yeah. are the person because they will, they will be calling my mother crying, mm-hmm. calling my sister crying. Yeah. My mother had to tell her, please stop it. Mm-hmm. My daughter is not God. You need to talk to God, not my daughter. Yeah. And I, I said, okay, I am not blocking her. She will just continue coming to my platform. But I will not allow her to come on my platform again. Mm-hmm. I will not allow her to cause me to raise any funds for her again. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Now, at the hospital, this money that you hear her saying, Diana forced me to refund the money. Do you know what that money was? Please tell us. That Please money us. was money that had on my driver and, and, and this lady that used to work for me. They went round to her house, back to the hospital. Who was going to pay? Hudson is an Uber driver. Who was going to pay for that money? Mm-hmm. Do you think it was hard for me to pay? Am I not the one who paid for her taxi the other day? Mm-hmm. I am the one who paid. Yeah. Because of what I realized this woman did, and I had money in my phone, I was still adding her. I told Olivia, I have sent her that money, but I need her to refund money for transportation. Kindly, Hudson, do your calculation for your gas and your, your transportation. I am not paying for your transportation. Mm-hmm. Let her pay for your transportation. Yeah. Because I was not going to tolerate that rubbish. And that is the money that was refunded. And the other money that was refunded was the money that was erroneously sent from my bank account. There is no sick person money that was taken from this lady. Yeah. Nothing. I think, Tabasamu, the best thing to do is come up. If you've got a question, you will get a chance to ask um, Candid because it doesn't look good. We've given her a platform to speak. And you are. I like it. Somebody has said they will yeah. create platform. I love it. Yeah, I am yeah. somebody that yeah. I enjoy when people support cancer patients. I love when they'll fundraise yeah, yeah. for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. I, I want her to be fundraised for even a million, two million. It will help her. It will help her family plus her child. It will really help her. Yeah. But they're making a statement about Diana wrote and said, tell your friends to, 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 to help you. Do you know what I told her? Mm-hmm. I told her because every time the money was needed, Diana, I need this money. Lady Jacqueline, I am somebody who has little kids. That's correct. I am somebody who is still recovering. Mm-hmm. I am somebody who has a heart problem. Mm-hmm. You want me all the time to be sending money and telling my friends to raise money for you. And I told this woman, any time I will put a post to, to talk about her, do you know what she will say? Mm-hmm. Do you know? She will not go to put on a platform. And so I told her, Miss Kara, why can't you go and write on your platforms also? Yeah. So that your network can know that you need money and your network will help you. So that actually shows there was something. There was something she was, yeah. was trying to it, hide. It, it, cannot, yeah. it cannot be about my network. I will exhaust my network, yet I have non-profits. Mm-hmm. I cannot exhaust my network for an individual. That's correct. There is something called donor, donor fatigue. That's I cannot correct. fatigue my network all the time. Yeah. Why can't you go and put on your TikTok, on your Instagram, everywhere? Why can't you go? Mm-hmm. And why is it that certain TikTok celebrities mm-hmm. only want to get involved in a matter when it is already controversial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, they when that, everything. When that person, yes, yes. When that person needs money at the beginning, they mm-hmm. will not open their platforms. Yeah. They only want to raise money for that person when it is a controversial matter. Yeah. Okay? And if you, if you remember well, the history of this lady, it started with, 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 with uh, Nani, Big Daddy. Yeah. Big Daddy was raising money for this woman to go where? To come to America. 
And when I came to know about this lady being sick, I asked this lady, why are you going to America and you are unwell? What are you going to do in America? Mm -hmm. Do you already have a visa? No. Mm -hmm. Then why, why are you going to America? Mm -hmm. If you are sick, why can't you then just ask for that money that was raised and then go and, and get treated with that money? Yeah. I have wasted my time advising this woman so many times. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it will, it almost becomes for intervening for her. Do you know what she kept coming to say in my private message about Big Daddy, about Diana Rose, about Barry Black? I cannot say. Mm -hmm. Because all these people are people that can open life for her. Okay? But I kept telling her, stop gossiping TikTok celebrities on my WhatsApp. Stop it. Because I don't have the energy. You know, people who like involving themselves in, in, in pig fights, they have nothing to lose. That's correct. Like and right that's now, the pigs, the pigs had already come. They wanted a pig fight and I came out of the life. Absolutely. Because I have a lot to lose. That's correct. I have, I have a reputation. I, I cannot, I cannot lose my reputation mm -hmm. because I got into a pig fight with pigs. I'm not a pig. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So then, um, that money was refunded for transportation for my driver had some, and my money that I sent by mistake, my money. Which if that person was truthful, they could have brought my sister up with all Yes, and I have yeah, a foundation they, to protect. They, they, could have, they could have brought your sister up, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, I, told, I told him, bring my sisters yeah. up. Yeah. My sister Atoti is down here. Atoti yeah, is yeah. the one who did it for me. See Atoti? She was crying yeah. for me in my mm -hmm. family group saying, Diana, please just open life for her. She's very sick. Open. I said, I'm not opening. I'm not opening life. It is draining. I don't know how to do fundraising. I don't know how to collect money on TikTok. Mm -hmm. This Atoti you see down here. Yeah. She is the one who convinced me to stand on a life, Lady Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. I stood on a life mm -hmm. from morning to evening. Yeah. My husband washing the kids, my mm -hmm. husband cooking for the kids, my husband doing everything for the kids because his wife, his life, raising funds for somebody she does not know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You tell me. Gloria, you are now regretting. Now you see why you should not have forced me. Mm -hmm. Now you see why you should not have forced me. Now, now you understand the history and the monies that I demanded to be refunded. Yes, yeah. I demanded. Because you cannot lie to me. You cannot put my reputation on the line. Mm -hmm. Just for you to get money from my network. That is cheating. Yeah. And that is wrong mm -hmm. on all levels, very wrong. So that story passes and I keep this lady out of my life. She was not climbing up on my platform. She was writing messages and I was not replying. She was apologizing to me every day. I was blue taking. Mm -hmm. She was calling my mother. Please tell her to forgive me. She is not talking to me anymore. I refused. Mm -hmm. Do you know when I started again talking to this lady? Mm -hmm. Manipulation. Because she tried all means. The next time I started talking to her, I was on my life. And she's saying I talk about her on my life, me. Everybody who comes to my life, me. You find me cooking, I'm talking about the food I'm cooking. Making my daughter's hair, I'm responding to questions of people that are coming to my life. Mm -hmm. So I go on my life mm -hmm. and... Um, she comes and writes on my life down there. You know me, I have to say step by step. Yes. She comes and writes down there, she says, and every day whenever I could go live, she would come and she would be the first person to send me a heart to me, to send me a gift. You know me, I don't receive gifts. In fact, now I have 300, I'm so happy. Me, I don't receive gifts because, you know, I'm not here guys, for gifts. Guys, can you, can you gift candid Diana, please? Guys, yeah, even, what, even what, when you find yeah. me on my life, Mm. When you find me in my life, I'm normally laughing. I'm like, hey, I am the only person who comes live and nobody sends me a rose. I'm normally laughing. 
<laughs> whenever I came live, he mm -hmm. could come and send me gift. Mm -hmm. But I don't talk. I don't even say thank you. Because yeah. I knew what she was trying to do. Yeah. But on this fine day, Na kwambia yu sauti ya kenyonga. Oh, you guys. I don't refuse that she's unwell. Mm -hmm. We've also gone through that. Yes. I have patients. I have yeah. patients that are okay, unwell. That are taking care. Yeah. Yes, we so know. We don't refuse that. Yes. But I always say, please, do not use cancer to manipulate people. Yeah. Do not use cancer to manipulate people. It is wrong. Nice. And God will punish. God will punish. So she came to my life and she wrote down there. She wrote down there. Do you know what she wrote? Mm -hmm. Colon cancer now in my lungs. She wrote on my life. Because she knew she had tried all things possible, but I was not talking to her. Yeah. Do you know what happened next with a heart like mine? When I saw, uh -huh. I was shocked. Yeah. I panicked. Yeah. And I tried to ignore. I tried to ignore. You can't. You can't. But my heart, I could not. I could not continue with my life. You like me, Candid. I know you. I can understand. <laughs> Where's ignore? I could not continue because huh? I'm telling myself, oh no, mm -hmm. cancer is in her lungs now. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Do you know that day I brought her up? Mm -hmm. And I brought her up and people had been asking, where is this lady nowadays? We don't see you bring her up. Mm -hmm. And I brought her up and I said, I have brought this lady up, but I've brought her because of something she has written down here. Yes. <clears throat> I have never wanted to bring her up. Yeah. But I've brought her now. But before, before I talk, thank you, before I say anything about what she's written here, mm -hmm. I want to say what this woman did. Mm -hmm. And I covered all the things that I've told you about. Yeah. And that day she was crying the way she cries and with that voice and she was apologizing, the same voice. Mm -hmm. And that same voice is the voice that my sister, all my sisters had that voice mm -hmm. and convinced me to raise funds for her. So after that session, I told this woman, mm -hmm. now that they found cancer in your lungs, mm -hmm. doctors were on strike. I told her, if you start treatment, let me know. And I will speak to my team, me, who was, she, had, she had already done all that too. Mm -hmm. I told my, my, her, if you start treatment, let me know so I will let my team know Mm -hmm. So they can visit you, you can fill out the forms, and then um, you, can, um, you can start, they can start bringing you food. Mm -hmm. Okay? She told me, okay. So every time I could check the doctor strike, the doctor strike is continuing. When the doctor strike ended, I asked her, hey, are you starting treatment now? Mm -hmm. Because I can send my team to make you start the application process, then we can start bringing you food every month during your treatment. Mm -hmm. And then this lady wrote back after some day, do you know what she wrote? She said, I have good news. There is a friend of mine in, I don't know if it is Europe or UK, that has written to me and she has said she is going to fund all my treatment at the Aga Khan. Mm -hmm. And this Miss Kara has always had me say Aga Khan is the top cancer treatment uh -huh. hospital in the world. Oh, so is it? Always, even, yes, yes. It? yes. Oh, in wow. Kenya, yes. Uh -huh. People come even from Nigeria, whatever, to go to Aga Khan. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. so any, when I heard she said Aga Khan, I knew she was in good hands, at least now. Yeah. She's not at that dingy hospital. Yeah. You know, so I, she told me, now the team, your team does not need to feed me. Do you see? Because she knew that when my, when my organization feeds, there has to be forms that have to be filled out. Yes. You understand? 
So the forms have to be filled out. We have to know the hospital you're going to. We have to know your doctor so that we can ask questions regarding food. Um, we also have to come and visit you. We have to know who your caregiver is. We are yes. very strict because yes. money yes. is hard to come by. Yes. And many times I'm the one who cooks to raise that money. Yeah. You have to cook chapatis and sell them. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So when she told me that, you know, because of, of, of this favor that my friend is doing to me, you don't need to feed me anymore. You can yeah. give that feeding to another patient. Yeah. And I thought that was good, as in you're giving up your position for another patient because I'm not able to feed so many patients at once. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that went by just like that. Mm -hmm. And we were just continuing. She was going on for her treatment, I believe, because right now I'm not sure if it is true or not. I don't know. Yeah. Now, the next time I now encountered a problem with her was when I was raising funds for the event I had in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm having an event in Kenya. My target for fundraising is two million. And then God was so good, Rosso gave us one million. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we were left with one million to raise. And because I'm not even a good fundraiser, I would even sit a whole day, I would get even 80,000, 200,000, nothing. Mm -hmm. So that day, I was on my life with dollar bills. I was on my life with um, Miss Cara. That lady was on my life. I was with my niece, Rachel. I was yeah. with an 